Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here. And today we are gonna play with some clean film design and a cocktail stick. That's actually quite impressive. Have a preview of it in here. Awesome technique and I hope you really like it and enjoy it, this video as well. If you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe as there is lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays. We also try to produce the content from beginners and also some advanced nail art too. So let's start. Those nails are actually such a fun to create and literally they take just a second. So we are going to use a cocktail sticks for it. So uh, let's start the fun. I actually cr love trying those uh, new things to create some sort of nail art. I've got my tips ready, just going to remove any dust particles which might be on it. And then 173, which is a tic-tac white, guys. We want to paint some background in there and white. Just a very nice and thin layer. You don't want a lot of product there. So just a thin layer and then a thin layer here. Okay, once we've got that, we can start preparing our paints. So we are going to use, uh, no, not this one. That's a nice color, but not this one. Uh, 242, which is a nice purple. Just make a dot of it on our mixing palette. And then the pink one, 238. I love the combination of pink and purple, always looks so good. And then we are gonna need a cocktail stick. Okay, so just a normal, like a cocktail stick. And you've got two ends, like you could create two ends, one very thin one, and then if you break it into the half, uh, you can have like a slightly thicker one. And then a tiny bit of the clean film. So that's just like, just the foot clean film. And I'm going to, make it kind of like, almost like a wee bubble at the end. So what I'm doing is I'm creating quite a lot of clean film in that one place. Make it nice and wrinkled and then wrap the rest of it. Okay, so you kind of get a cocktail stick wrapped in with the clean film, <laughs> like this. Okay, on the other one, I'm going to use the thicker ends and I will see if there's any actually difference in between them. Probably not, it's all depending how you wrap your clean film. Okay, that's my tool ready. So I'm going to start with this large one here. And what you want to do it is you want to go into your um, color mixture, just like this, like the messier, the better. And then we are going to paint a first flower. So you just touch there, like this. Touch there, like this. Touch there, like this. And like this. And like this. So I've got five petal flower. Then let's paint another one, just on this side. Got one petal, second petal, third petal. Then go opposite way another one and another one on the top. I'm going to go different direction. And this way we have created some pretty flower. You can see it how nicely it uh, spreads as well with the help of the white color. Of course we need some finishing detail so let's cook it first and then do the other one with this cocktail stick. So this one is going to be a little bit thinner. Pick up my mixture and then let's start painting the flower. So this one I want to go more from the mm, top maybe and bottom. What I love about it is each time you create a slightly different mixture of the flowers then another one. So each time I'm just picking up a fresh scoop. The more mixed colors you've got, I think the better it is. This one is really pretty. I love this one. And then a tiny one on the top. Hey, that's so pretty, this one. Let's cure it as well. 
I love this one so much. And then we are going to paint another one because you can kind of almost get addicted to it. <laughs> Just because each time you can create something slightly different. So I want to add more of the pink in there. No, that's not the one. I don't know. I think um, my brain wants to do something with the 200 color, the sugar rush one. It's red. No, it's not red. No, no, no it's not red. Pink. It's pink, yeah. Like a uh, purpley pink. Like really purpley pink. Okay. So this time we are going to paint a little bit more advanced flower, I would say, like slower, a little bit slower. Okay, so I'm just picking up my cocktail. Okay, pick up my cocktail stick, got it again. And then we are going to paint the flower and here. I'm going to be a little bit slower with this one. Some purple one. Oh my goodness, look at those petals. Oh! Figured out another way of painting it. Okay, I need to try it more then. <laughs> so another one in here. Oh my goodness, this one is so pretty. Okay, okay, we are going to do the next tip. So let's cook this one. And the last tip where we will use the cocktail stick and press it a little bit harder. So I didn't uh, press as hard and now I'm going to press it a little bit harder because it's almost like um, helps to create even better petals. Do the texture? No, not the texture. Do more marble. I don't know. Do more marble. Do more marble. 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 <laughs> okay, let's try it. Now guys, tell me if you want to see it, me trying all those different things. So let's paint and press it harder. See, that's the one I mean. That's for me texture. There's a texture for you, okay. Yeah. No, I think it's just more marbly. See? Mm -hmm. Okay, so different types of flowers. I love these petals. They're amazing. I actually really love those petals here. Look what is happening there. Like, absolutely awesome. Fun to do it. Guys, you have to try this technique because uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, obviously on every petal we have to add some finishing touch. So say example in this one, it looks so pretty, like really pretty. It looks like it has been really complicated to paint and literally is not. So grab some white gel. Place it on the side. And then we are going to add some detail. So for those flowers, I'm thinking of those kind of wee line, like this, with a couple of the dots at the end. And another one in here. And couple dots. Such a simple way to 
be honest, you don't have to even do anything with those petals. Like, I mean, this one looks almost like it's bended. I wouldn't even touch them, um, but you could. You could add some more detail. I'm quite liking, so I will add just a tiny bit of detail on the bottom one. But I quite like how they blend and how they look. Let's cure it and then we can top coat it. Of course you could add some leaves in there as well. Now these flowers are slightly different, so we are going to do more simple middle. Like just lots of white dots. Very easy to do it. Same in here. This one looks almost like petunias flower. Okay, let's see what we've got in there. This one is cooked. This one. And I love those flowers. I don't want to add too much into them because they look really pretty and interesting. So, almost like an orchid. Okay, so I have painted different middle and this flower is kind of fencing, facing that way. <laughs> and then we triangle here with the two dots too. Awesome, cook them in and then apply the top coat for the finished results. This one is a hibiscus flower. Love it, absolutely love it. Such a quick and very easy way to create. Unique new art, I would say. You have to try it, guys. The clean film and the cocktail stick. Really pretty. I love those flowers. Like, they look really complicated. Tell me, guys, your thoughts in the comments below. Like, what you think of those uh, type of uh, flowers. And if you do, you can also see it, like, once we put the top coat, things look even prettier because they are much more smooth out and if you try this technique uh, you could share it on our Facebook group we'll be very happy to see it definitely different colors would work too like uh, I think pink and orange and that would give like quite exotic look to it uh, definitely uh, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing your flowers combinations with this fun technique I'm going to try different things as well. <laughs> like to see what else you could use to paint on your nails. You will laugh because I've got, um, obviously you guys know we have been doing a little bit of renovations. Uh, so I thought I'm going to see what I can create out of that as well. <laughs> uh, we have used some um, toothbrush before. Uh, and that creates a really nice and pretty designs as well. You can check it on our channel. Uh, I think the um, mm, silver foil will do really nice and pretty designs too, like sponges. Um, there are so many different ways uh, you could use a tools, like a different kind of things to paint on nails. I love this one. This one is my favorite one, like I think. So let's move it, it into a favorite place. So well, this one is my favorite. I love it so much. Then another one which was very interesting was this one. Yeah, this one was very interesting too. But I'm going to place it at there. They look awesome and you know, oh gosh. You know, guys, like I feel like because this takes literally seconds to create, you could easily paint the entire uh, set of the nails in white and do it um, those kind of garden floral. It reminds me of the dresses as well. Um, like 
they are those sort of dresses um, so I think it will look super cool for your clients if they've got some sort of wedding coming up and and they wear those kind of floral dress or just for holidays as well and the last one I cannot squeeze it anymore um, on my display case <laughs> so I'll just show you here like this uh, and that's what they look lovely together like really nice yeah guys I hope you have really enjoyed this quick and easy uh, video I'm sending you huge glittery hugs and bye for now